Shalom. Kohola, Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harakakwadash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, who the word ignorantly called God, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, who the word ignorantly called Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world, unto the servants, the prophets, the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine. Unto you I say shalom. Understanding why we suffer. All right. And this is something that Jake has, that they, they really don't understand. All right. They think that we got bad luck or it's the, it's the, you know, the so-called white man's fault. The, our people are so good at pointing the blame at everyone. Versus looking at themselves in the mirror and, and and seeing where they fucked up or where they went wrong. Okay, all of us, okay, me included, brothers, all right, when you come into this truth, all right, you, 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 and you, and you realize this truth, you know that you, in the world, you want shit, or right? we still ain't shit, all right, but we are trying to get better. Those that have the light and, and can see are trying to get better and diligently seeking the Lord, all right, how do you seek the Lord? Calling upon his name, following his law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. Okay, as if you're a man prophesying and learning, all right, and teaching. Okay, that's how you get close to the Lord. That's how you, uh, you know, uh, uh, begin to atone for your sins. And hopefully, um, when Yahweh Shai returns, he blots out your sins. But first, we got to acknowledge our offenses, as the scripture says. That, and that's that's something that Jake has a problem with. Okay, they want to blame, point the blame at everyone. Or some of them don't even act like they're good. All right, some of our people act like they ain't did shit wrong. You know, or, or, or you know, they, they like to use the scripture. They're under grace. OK, and, and that grace is, is a grace period for you to get right, for you to acknowledge your offense, for you to turn away from sin. But that's what repent means. Turn away. All right. Our people need to repent. OK, before you repent, you got to acknowledge that you went off, that you that you you wronged the Lord. All right. And we all wrong the Lord, first and foremost, by by breaking the, 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 the top commandment, by worshiping other idols, gods. OK, whether it be, you know, you were in the Christian church, the Catholic, the Catholic church. You were in the Islam, you was an atheist, whatever it was. If you're an Israelite, that's a, that's a sin. That's a carnal sin against Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Okay? Putting any and anything before him. All right? That, that's where we went off. And then what happened? These curses in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, from 16 all the way to 68, have, 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 have taken over our people. I don't care who you are. If you're an Israelite, if you're a so called Negro, Latino, Native American, I don't care how good you think you got it. You're still under the curses, whether you rich or whether you think you got it. You don't have a peace of mind. We don't we won't have a peace of mind until we're in the kingdom, until we have these righteous laws, statutes, and commandments written in our inward parts. That's when we'll have a peace of mind as a nation. OK, the most high judges as a nation, judges individually, but he judges as a nation. All right. And all of our people are under these curses right now. All right, that's what that's that's one thing that Jake has to realize. Oh, I ain't under no curse, you know, nigga. You under a curse. I don't give a shit who you are. I don't care how much money you got and how much fame and you know uh, you got you under the curses because that money, that wealth that you had, what did you have to do to get? It? All right, some people you think you worked hard, but at the end of the day, some sometime somewhere you had to mend your ways. You had to muzzle your your true thoughts to um to this life, all right, to, to, to this world, all right? Hey, if you're a true believer of Yahweh Shem Shai, you trust and believe in the Lord, you're going to follow his words, and his words are true, not the so-called white men's, not no one's, not, not even yours, all right? So let me hop right into the scriptures. This is Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter, and I'm going to read chapter, uh, no, not chapter, but uh, start at verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy power, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, the Lord thy power will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Or that's what we're supposed to be. We're a, a, a holy people. We're a great people. But right now we're low. We're at a low level. We're at the bottom. Okay. Why? Because we didn't hearken unto the, uh, it says, diligently, uh, hearken diligently unto the, uh, the voice of the Lord thy power. We didn't, we didn't hearken. We all went off. We all fell short of the glory. All right. But you have that remnant. All right, the elect, the hopeful elect that are returning unto the Lord, that are trying to get right, that are doing the things that are pleasing unto him. All right. You know, and, and but like I said, the, the, the first thing in repenting is admitting your faults. All right. Admitting that, you know, damn, I went off. OK. And, and not doing it again. 
All right, verse two. All and all these blessings shall come upon thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power. All right, and, and all man, the blessings that we're going to get within the kingdom, you know, it, it's going to be a, a innumerable amount of blessings. All right, we're going to be blessed every day. Okay, but we have to, you know, we had to learn sin. Okay, we had to learn sin first and. Living in this flesh, that's a hey, that's we can't we can't um we can't hide from sin. His sin is everywhere in our face, but we can you can in this world you can um minimize sin as, as much as possible. All right, and that starts with calling on the name. Okay, calling on the name, all right. Uh, uh you know, getting your mind right with the Lord, all right, getting close to the Lord, following his law, says your commandments. And of course, we can't keep all 613 laws, but Hey, we could try the things that we can control. Hey, do it. Stop eating pork. Stop eating shellfish and, and um, abominable foods. All right. Stop coveting after your neighbor's goods, your neighbor's wife. All right. Those are easy things. Follow the Sabbath. Follow the holy days. Okay. These are easy things that we can do. All right. So, so that's the beginning of, of, of acknowledge your offenses. All right. See where you're going off. All right. And a lot of Jake, you know, in your spirit that you're going off. All right. And don't do it no more. OK, and then, but like I said, you'll understand, you know, once you once you come into this truth, once you come into this light, you understand why we catching hell, why we're we getting shot down, why we're we getting gunned down in the street. Why? You don't see no other races like that. You don't see the so-called uh, Chinese. All right. Shooting each other, you know, it, it, over stupid shit. OK, you don't see uh, you go to World Star Hip Hop. You don't see the, the so-called the Moabites and these other races, these other heathen nations twerking and fighting and just doing nigga shit. All right. You may see them here and there, but you don't see them every day doing some crazy nigga shit. All right. That's our people because we're under the curses. That's why we're on the bottom, because of these curses, because we didn't diligently hearken unto the Lord. All right. Let me um jump over to the book of Baruch, the first chapter. And uh, I want to read. I'm going to start at uh, verse 19. And it reads, uh, since the day the Lord brought our forefathers out of the land of Egypt unto this present day, we have been disobedient unto the Lord, our power. And we have, be, have, we have, and we have been neg negligent in not hearing his voice. All right. And the voice of the Lord right now is his prophets. All right. If you don't hearken unto the prophets, you, they, the, the, you're not hearing the Lord. You're not hearing hearkening unto his voice. But it says we have been disobedient. All right. That's our, that's the whole the whole nation has been disobedient to the Lord, our power until this day. You still got niggas that know the truth that are going off. You got Jake's that's in the truth. That's that, that's teaching false doctrine, saying that it's OK to have sex on the Sabbath day. It's, it's OK to, um, uh, uh, um, you know, just do all kind of abominations. The name of the Lord is not uh, uh, they, you, you, we don't know the name of the Lord yet. You have. That's being disobedient to the Lord. All right. Uh, verse 20. Wherefore, the evils cleaved unto us and the curses which the Lord appointed by Moses, his servant, at the time that he brought our fathers out of the land of Egypt to give us the land that floweth with milk and honey, like as it is to like as it is to see this day. It said these evils. All right. The evils cleaved unto us, unto us. All right. And hey, Jake is evil and wicked as hell right now, okay? Because they didn't hearken. And and, and th that, you know, two-thirds of our people have a perpetual uh, uh hatred for their brothers. Okay? That that, you know, that that's just, that's that's in the curses. You know, the one that is um you know, that I shall be uh evil towards the one that is tender and delicate. All right. We we're supposed to be brotherly to all our Israelite brothers, but hey, we're under those curses. So what do our people do? You see a nigga in the street. All right. He may have a nice car or something. Or I'll, I'll rob that nigga. All right. You know, fuck that nigga. We're going to get that nigga. That's how our people think that that's the mindset that our people are in. OK, they don't know this man from nobody, but they but they're just that they they just got that envious nigga, wicked spirit in them. OK, verse 21. Nevertheless, we have not hearkened unto the voice of the Lord, our power, according to all the words of the prophets whom he sent unto us. You got to hearken unto the words of the prophets. Well, our prophets are here to tell you, to give you guidance and instruction to tell you, hey, Hey, we're a holy, we're a holy people unto the Lord. We're the Lord. Hey, we're a, we're we're a, a great people. All right, but we have to return unto being that great people, and that starts with acknowledging our offenses. All right, uh, uh, call on the names of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Okay, and, and hey, 
you know, following these laws, and commandments to the best of your ability. And like I said, you can't, we can't, no one can follow 613 laws. And only one person to do it was your shot. Okay. So, hey, we're in, we're, we're in this flesh. So we're going to sin, but hey, you can cut that to a, a, as minimum as, as minimal as possible. All right. Verse 22, but every man followed the imagination, imagination of his own wicked heart to serve strange gods and to do evil in the sight of the Lord our power. The, hey, that's the first thing Jake went off, serving strange gods, all right? Serapis Christus, you know, Edomite white Jesus, all right? That's one. That's that, that's a heavy demon amongst our people, all right? Who they, you know, that's a strange God, all right? The Heavenly Father, his Heavenly Father or his Son don't look like that, okay? Um, you know, a, a lot of people worship money. You know, niggas worship the woman. It, it's so many false deities uh, uh, our people are into and, and worship. You know, hey, that's why the Most High put these curses upon us, man. All right? But you got, you know, you got Jake out there that think like this. Uh, Malachi 1. This is Jake. This is Jake's whole bond. Um, the burden of the word of Malachi, excuse me, the burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Lord, yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Just Jake. Uh, uh, the Lord don't love us. Well, why, you know, like, the, what the, what's, the, what's the nigga in the movie said? Um, um, I think it was Men in Society. Like, you know, uh, why, why, where we live is all fucked up. You know, basically the Lord don't love us. That's Jake's, that's Jake's spirit. All right. Um, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I love, love Jacob. The Lord, hey, the Lord really loves us. That's why he's giving us this ass whooping, okay? Hey, the scripture says, I'm going to get it. Um, it says, uh, what is it? Um, Hebrews 13, um, the 13, maybe it's 12. Yeah, here it is, 12. It says, um, Hebrews 12 and 6. For whom the love, Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. All right, when you get in your ass whooped, that means your father loves you. Or right? your father didn't love you, he he wouldn't whoop your ass. He wouldn't even care. All right, actually, let me start at five. And ye have for, forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you, unto you as unto children. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. All right, no, hey, when, when we get rebuked of the Lord, when we catch in hell, all right, Hey, brothers understand. We understand that, you know, shit, I went off somewhere, you know. And even sometimes we know where we went off. We know when we did something that we weren't supposed to. And the Lord chastened us because he loves us. All right? But niggas take that chastening as, you know, you got bad luck or, you know, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, nigga, a nigga come up with any excuse to, uh, to, 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 to go against the Lord. All right? For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourges every son that whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastening, the Most High dealeth with you as sons. For what son is he that, who, what son is he whom the Father chasteneth not? But if he, but if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then ye are bastards and not sons. All right, and, and hey, we're getting jacked up because the Lord loves us. I, the, Lord, the Lord even loves two thirds. That's why He's going to, you know. Wipe them out and, and bring them back in the kingdom. That's love right there. Okay? The, hey, the Lord's going to kill the two-thirds of our people. All right? Two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and still give you a second chance in the kingdom of heaven where he's going to put the law, statute, and commandments in your mind so you're going to be righteous forever. That's love. The Lord could have just said, hey, two-thirds are going to be wiped out forever, and that's it. You know? that Hey, the Lord could do what the hell he wants to, but he's, he's, he's merciful. He's, you know... He, he, you know, he's a, he's a righteous power. All right. So he, hey, all his sons, all his sons and daughters. All right. They're going to, you know, even the two thirds are going to be in the kingdom of heaven in their right mind. Okay. But hey, we're all going through that chastisement right now. And the two thirds, excuse me, and the one third, the elect are going to go make it through the fire. All right. Are those that's going to be purified and made white, meaning their son, their sins are going to be blotted out. All right. Because those are the ones that understand and, 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 and understand why we suffer, all right? Why are we why are we catching the hell we're going through? Or right, those are the ones that ultimately repented and, and, and turn turn um turn return back unto the Lord. Well, everyone else had, you know was doing their own thing. This is um Hosea. Actually, I want to go back to uh what is it? Uh, before I get that, I'm gonna get Deuteronomy 28 because this is 
you know, uh, uh, main reason we get jacked up. This is Deuteronomy uh, 5, 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the Lord, excuse me, unto the voice of the Lord thy power, to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, all these curses, all these curses from, from 16 on down, okay, all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And hey, we've been overtaken as a nation. All right, we, we we are a nation that man we we we're look we're looked down upon by all the nations, all right. And, and you know we know the, the so-called Negroes, the tribe of Judah, get it worse because we're the head tribe. But all the nations, all right, these Edomites, these heathens, they look down on all the nations. In the Northern Kingdom, the Southern Kingdom, all right, you Latinos, they look down on you too, all right. They hate you too. They hate you uh, as much as they hate us, okay, as as as, as the Northern Kingdom. OK, but they, you know, you don't really you don't. But you're going to see the hate. You're going to you're going to see the hate because this devil's really about to turn it up. All right. Curse shall I be in the city. Curse shall I be in the field. So you're going to be cursed everywhere. OK, you're going to be cursed wherever you wherever you dwell. All right. But it's a hey, those curses are going to come up are, are going to uh, come up off of us. All right. Once we return to the heavenly father. All right. Once we once we continue in the light. All right. Which is this truth. All right, let me now jump over to Hosea 5 and um, verse 15. I will go return to my place till they acknowledge their offenses. All right, acknowledging your offenses. That is, uh, um, you know, basically confessing your sins, you know, repenting from your sins, telling the Lord that, you know, yes, you know, I went off. All right, uh, um, I've sinned. Okay, please forgive me. Salakia, Salakia, Salakia. For, my, for, for, for all my transgressions, for my sins, from, you know, me doing this and doing that and, and worshiping false gods, being uh, evil to my brethren, okay? All these things that we've done in the world, in our lives, we got to repent from that, all right? And repent means turn away. Don't do them again, all right? Don't be like a hypocritical-ass nigga in the Christian church that, that, that repents and the next day, you know, repents on Sunday, and the next day they doing nigga shit. The most High not dealing with you. All right. In their affliction, they will seek me early. All right. When our people become really afflicted and Jacob's trouble begins to turn up, that's when they're going to seek the Lord. That's when they're going to want to hearken unto the prophets and, 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 and um, you know, try to get right and try to repent. And but, hey, by that time, it's going to be too late. All right. That's why the Lord says he's coming like a thief in the night. All right. When when these niggas is all, you know, uh, 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 in, a, in a place of security, they think they're good. All right. You think, you know, they didn't got their CH, CHIP and everything is good and everything is going back to where I was. And bam, the Most High sends his son, Yahweh Shai, to, to, you know, to deliver the elect and, and and punish two thirds of Israel that 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 didn't want to hearken, that didn't want to acknowledge their offenses. OK. Um, yeah. 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 Let me grab this. Because all these all these things that happen to us are just scourges, all right? They're scourges, they're uh, 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 you know for us to amend our ways, for us to get right, all right? The Lord jack you up. That's like okay, that's like a a it should be a wake up call, like okay, shit, let me let me let me you know let, let me do this, let me not do this, and you know let me you know let me get right. But what do our people do? They they continue in their wickedness. They they think that just like the scripture says, and um, what's that? Ecclesiastes. Um, the eighth chapter, I think it's eleven verse. Just because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, the hearts of the sons of men are set on, on to do wickedness. Just because the Most High ain't jacked you up, don't mean that don't think that you got away with it. The Most High see everything. All right, this is uh Second Ezra chapter sixteen and verse nineteen. Behold, famine, plague, and tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment for you to amend your ways, for you to acknowledge your offenses. All right, all these things are sent, the, the, the famine, all right, all these plagues, tribulation, anguish, heartache, anxiety, all those things are sent to you, Jakes, to us, our people. Okay, you see what's going on right now. Who are the first people to get jacked up during this pandemic and all this shit going on? Our people. When inflation really hits these high-ass gas, gas prices, who's going to take the, uh, 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 the, you know, the, 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 um, the, the biggest blow? Our people, Israelites. But these are things, these were scourges for you to amend your ways, for you to get right, for you to turn from wickedness, turn to the heavenly father. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor always be mindful of the scourges. All this shit is happening and Jake is still going to be wicked. Okay. That's just the, that's, 
You know, that's just the mindset of a two third. The two third nigga thinks they going to be all right. OK, that that this ain't the end. All right. But, hey, you better be mindful of these scourges because when they come, you know, you, Jake is going to be looking for an out. All right. And hey, the devil's going to come and, and, and offer that out. And that out's going to come in the form of that 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 digital karagma. All right. That that, you know, the karagma that, you know, um. One more script I want to grab. Oh, shit, so I can. This is the book of Baruch, back in Baruch, uh, chapter 4 and verse 28. It says, For as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek him ten times more. It, 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 was, all our, it was all in our minds to go astray from the Lord, all right? It, he, he put it in us to go off, okay? To, to, to you know, to, 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 um, to put these curses on us, okay? We all went off, all right? So being returned, seek him 10 times more. All right. We're supposed to seek the Lord 10 times more. All right. At, now that we repented, now we know the name of the Lord. Now we're, uh, um, we know the name of the Lord. We know the name of his son. All right. We're getting our heritage back. Now it's, hey, we got to return to the Lord and seek him 10 times more. Okay. So, hey, you know, hey, the, the closer and closer we get, man, Jake got to repent and acknowledge their offenses and, and, you know, and then once you acknowledge your offenses, you begin to, the Lord begins to sup with you and open your mind up to more understanding. Okay. But first you got to understand why we suffer. All right. We're, hey, we're a great people. As the scripture says, um, right here, the Lord, hey, the Lord, we're a great people. No doubt. Uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord. The Lord, by power, has chosen to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth that's israel that's jake okay but we're not at, we're, we're not in our hey, we're not in our right minds we're we're not we're in a low state right now okay because we went off all right it's, and there's so many scriptures just you know show you that jake has been going off from captivity to captivity to captivity okay but this 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 is the last captivity where we're going to return all right where where you know we lost everything we lost our heritage we lost you know the name Okay, but as we return unto the Lord, the first step of a step, first step of returning unto Him is acknowledging that you know you went off, that 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 you sinned. All right, that you 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 know, as uh, Paul said, "O oh, oh, wretched man am I." Okay, so a uh, Lord willingness lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Harakakwadash. Until next time, I say Shalom.